Hey, what's up? David Burns here. Good to be with you again. Thanks for joining me today. It's red alert, red alert, because there's a lot of things facing bees. A little out of the ordinary, kind of just piled up together. I want to talk to you about that. Before I get started, I want to encourage you to please subscribe to my video channel here. Give me a thumbs up and click the like button. Let me know you enjoy and I'm adding value to you as a beekeeper in these videos. Well, what's so red alert about uh, bees right now? The weather is really kind of unusual. Right now we have a lot of wind coming in and I don't know if you guys have looked at that, but gonna be some high winds. And if you've played around with your hives a little bit, like inspected them in the winter time, you have broken that propolis seal. and the tops can just blow away. I want you to go out there today, make sure you got something heavy on top of those uh, lids and tie down strap them or something. We don't want those lids blowing off. We don't even want the whole hive to blow over. That's even a possibility too. So uh, get a little worried about that and just go out there, give it a push, make sure it's stable before the high winds hit. High winds are coming into most of the United States, especially the Midwest area up north so kind of keep an eye on that for where you live you may be fine it's just red alert i don't want you to lose your lids the second thing i want to kind of tell you about is that the the weather is kind of up and down it's a roller coaster ride with the temperature one day it's 20 degrees where i live the next day it's 60 degrees it's just up and down this is the worst case scenarios for bees overwintering what we need for bees to stay healthy in the winter and survive is for the temperature to turn about 30 degrees, 40 degrees, and stay there. We want that cluster to stay in their winter cluster all winter long. When the temperature expands higher and it gets above 60 degrees, bees are gonna fly, they break cluster, there's nothing out there for them to eat. In my last video, I showed you how to feed your bees with a community feeder. I showed you my bird bath. Here's a video here, a clip of my bird bath, and you can watch that video. I'll leave a card up here if you want to click on that. But I show you how you can feed your bees. Now, why is this better than feeding them on top of the hive? Don't want to use liquid, not even yet. So I think if we can put some community feeders out there with some dry pollen powder, some protein powder, we can also, uh, had these community feeders going that way when the bees are able to fly they're going to be drawn to, f to fly and go out there and get the food and if you uh, put it all on all that liquid on your hive it could induce robbing so we keep the bees flying this helps them this helps them to defecate to go to the potty on those flights out there and back so two things you need to think about when the temperature uh, rises say above 50 degrees and, the, and they break cluster, get something out there on very nice sunny days in some sort of bird bath, uh, sugar water one-to-one -one with a little bit of honey be healthy to draw them into that smell. And then set up something like this where you can put some dry protein powder and let the bees go in there. You can bait that with a little bit of honey if you want to. Bees love this protein powder. So red alert, gonna get windy, gonna be up and down in temperature, and we'll leave it up to the bees to decide when to break cluster and fly rather than try to change our feeding systems. That's what this video is all about. You know, don't take the winter bee kind off and put a liquid feeder on just because it's warming up. Let's leave the winter bee kind on and let's let the bees go out there and get liquid if they choose to do that. So I just wanted to make a quick video, let you guys know kind of an unstable roller coaster weather condition maybe over the next week so keep an eye on that okay so if you've enjoyed this video again subscribe give me a thumbs up let me know you like it and uh, i'll see you guys next time